Looking at a waveform like this might be difficult after a while. What's going on? I'm trying to see what's going on and the thing's jumping all over the screen. So the easy thing you could do is hit the stop button and it freezes it. But say you want to actually see what's going on in real time. We don't want to stop it. We could do something called a trigger. So now I have it back running again. So there's a button over here called trigger. I could set the trigger instead of to none to auto. This is on a picoscope. And so the waveform slowed down. You'll notice there's this little diamond up here on the screen. If I grab the diamond and pull it down to somewhere that's in the voltage range where the waveform crosses, you'll see all of a sudden it looks like it's standing still. But if you look close at the waveform, you'll notice that you know, those little blips on there are telling me that the signal's actually moving. And if I change the function generator, you might be able to hear the clicking over there in real time. I'm moving the offset up and down. You can see the waveform is moving. So that means that we're actually still acquiring the data with the Pico scope. But what the trigger does is it says only redraw the screen when your voltage crosses this point, when it makes a low to a high transition. So, you know, the waveform's going along and it redraws the whole entire screen only when we cross the point. And what that does is it synchronizes the waveform to the screen. So from our point of view, as, as viewers of this thing, it looks like it's standing still. So I could use the offset and drive the waveform out of the synchronization right there. And you can see, once again, I'm not synchronized because my waveform isn't crossing the diamond. And so I could either move it up, see if that works. So now I'm synchronized again. You know, same thing if my waveform goes low. Again, and I'm desynchronized, I could move my diamond down right there. So the other thing you could do is you could change the, if you trigger on a positive edge, meaning when you go from a low to a high, or a negative edge when you go from a high to a low. And this button right here, now switched, I trigger on when I go from a high to a low, and you could see that right there. They call it a falling edge trigger here.